Welcome back to some more Iron Man. Today, we're going to be booking it to Heart of the Mountain 10. Skyblocks added three new Heart of the Mountain levels in the Glacite Tunnels update, and I am going to pretty much just speedrun it, try and get there, and uh, I guess open some uh, frozen loot along the way as well from the uh, frozen corpses. And also uh, a little bit of a secret project at the end of the video to show you all. But anyways, if you guys are still enjoying the Iron Man series, be sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Those two things, they, they really make the videos do a lot better on YouTube. I mean, the last two times you guys killed it with the support and uh, go check the views that they're better. So if you could leave a like, hit the subscribe, leave a comment, that would be absolutely amazing for the channel. And of course, if you ever buy any ranks, gems, fire sales, or anything up the Hypixel store, they usually do fire sales every weekend. So if you want to pick up some gems, uh, be sure to use my creator code at checkout for a 5% discount on anything you buy. My code is toad, T O A D, just like my name, and it really, really supports the channel a ton. It's pretty much the reason I can keep making this Iron Man series as my job. So uh, massive thank you to everyone who's used my creator code. But uh, I think I'm just gonna kind of get to work. Uh, we actually ended up finding a pretty cool item uh, along the grind. So I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys that. Oh wait, what's this? We found an umber key. I don't know where it is. It's right here. Can be used to open backpacks with an umber lock. I do believe there's one in here and I think I remember where it is. I think it's like this way over in a corner. So this one could have fancier loot. Let's go ahead and see what it's gonna have. And that's pretty garbage. Yeah, that's that's really garbage. That's unfortunate. Well, we can at least cross those two columns off our list. So I'm just running around here making sure I didn't forget anything. Uh, and then I'll start mining glacite or tungsten. Probably tungsten. This looks like it's a, uh, a tungsten mine. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go through this one. Well, we're making slow but steady progress. 87% of the way to Heart of the Mountain 8. Just looking for tungsten now. I threw some shaders on because I actually... This area is too bright for me. Like, I turned off full bright and it was still too bright. So it was hurting my eyes. So I have to turn on a shader pack just so it's a little bit more dim. But for some reason, all of the snow glows. I don't know if there's, like, lanterns under this or something, but <laughs> it's a really bright area. So, I don't know. Maybe I guess enjoy some shaders for the next few clips while I give my eyes a bit of a rest here. But uh, we should be Heart of the Mountain 8 real soon, and I can't wait to try out some of those new Glacite perks. One more commission to go, and then we'll be Heart of the Mountain 8. So let's just go ahead and do this last one. It's just a simple Peridot collection, so we can go dive in this tunnel. And luckily, there are plenty of uh, gem veins in here for us. So let's go ahead and mine these up. There we go. And let's claim it. Heart of the Mountain Tier 8. And two Skyblock levels. Look at that. That is a rarity. You don't get to see uh, you go up by two levels very often. So uh, 180 Skyblock XP for that. We get uh, new items in two tokens of the mountain. We also unlock this whole row of perks here. But to take a look at that, this one looks like it is the um, Sky Mall equivalent of the Glacite Mine Shafts, which maybe it's good. I don't know. Uh, this one, no stone unturned, increases your chance to find a suspicious scrap. This looks very good. Uh, so we'll definitely want to scoop that one up. Uh, but this one also looks good. Mining speed when mining tungsten or umber. That sounds huge. Uh, daily grind. Good. Don't know if I'll get it just because it costs a token and we don't really need anything besides uh, glacite powder. But meh. It's not like that's hard to get anyways. Dust collector might be useful because... You know, that whole fossil thing I'm thinking is going to be really, really hard on Iron Man to max out. Uh, cold resistance, that might be good. I'm not sure. I have to do research on if that's worth it or not. And then keen eye. Whenever you're into the uh, glacial thing, mine a piece of hard stone for 250 powder. That sounds terrible. So really the good ones are maybe this one, definitely this one, and this one. So I'm thinking I want to get these two. I kind of want daily grind. I kind of want this. I kind of want this. I might remake my tree uh, because I really don't need Mining Madness or Seasoned Mine Men. I really don't need- I can live without Quit Forge, although people were saying to get Picobolus as well. Uh, so you can have both of these perks and use them uh, together to do comms. That might be faster. Uh, I may re uh, reset my tree here. Oh, what is this? Wait, there's a new Peak of the Mountain level. Three gla base Glacite Powder when mining and 150 Skyblock XP. That is insane. It's also a million Glacite Powder, which I don't even have. I have a third of that. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that's definitely not something I'm going to be able to buy quite yet, as tempting as it is. I think I'd rather get up to Heart of the Mountain 10 so commissions give me more Glacite Powder instead. So I'll remake my tree, and I guess I'll show you guys what I come up with. Totally forgot to look at the Forge stuff after I got Heart of the Mountain 8. Uh, so we can get the Reinforced Chisel which takes uh, our base chisel as well as tungsten and umber plates. Wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. Are you serious? Really? Max collection. You're telling me Iron Man players can't have the second tier chisel. The just like the most basic second tier chisel without maxing both tungsten and umber collection. That's a bit ridiculous. Come on. Uh, Dwarven Metal Talisman, which is also umber and tungsten plates. Are you serious? Did they? I, I don't. I don't think they thought this through. I are these supposed to be swapped? Uh, well, I guess we're not getting either of these for a week or two. Uh, portable campfire. This, uh, reduces cold by 15, but it's consumed. That's kind of bad. And then the tungsten keychain increases your heater cold by one for every 500, uh, fuel consumed. Um, if I'm allowed to put this on the drill for free, then that's decent. I don't know if that is. But it takes tungsten plates anyways, so we can't do that without max collection. Uh, the other thing is the Dwarven hand warmers, but again, tungsten and number plate. We can't get this, and it's not like these collections are easy to max out. I mean, they're not, like, hard, hard to max out, but they're certainly not easy. I mean, I'm part of the Mountain 8, and I'm a tenth of the way to this one. Uh, I'm not even a tenth of the way to this one. Uh, well, that, that sucks. Wait, isn't this book, like, super rare? The Paleontologist book? Um, huh. That might be really cool. Well, we got it. Increase the chance of finding a suspicious scrap. You can put it on mining tools, so I guess I'll throw it on my drill. Uh, I I'll have to check with people. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is, like, a big win, though. Uh, it's not even, yeah, it's not in there yet, so we can't see, but... Hey, cool. I guess I'll just keep the book for now, just in case it's, like, not working yet or something i don't know i was hearing something say about that so we'll just hold on to it for the time being and i'll probably use it when i figure out you know what it is and if it's good i ended up swapping my drills gem actually over to uh another jade instead of having the topaz because you don't really need the topaz for uh commission runs basically so it's better to have the extra fortune to do these comms faster because these are the ones that are terribly slow um also i guess if you want to see my heart of the mountain tree it is a little bit crazy but I think I figured out kind of what I want. So we want mining speed boost. That's going to be super important. I did try using Picobolus at the same time. It didn't really work well. The amount of time it took to swap over to Picobolus and back ruins the point of me having it. Uh, but we went for precision mining. And this means that when there's a little, there's a little particle that appears on the, uh, on the blocks here, you can see it. And when I'm looking at it, I actually mine significantly faster. So it'll help just a little bit with... Um, getting these little blocks broken quick enough so i don't know i figured i'd throw that on there because i had an extra token uh, and then we go up here i took this row we got mining speed two, mining fortune two, and then these two right here um i got strong arm because well that gives us more speed and tungsten and umber which is super good and this is just the one i had to click to get with it which this perk isn't terrible by itself but i do have the um paleontologist one book and apparently that's like super overpowered and it makes getting scraps completely free. So this perk doesn't really matter for me, at least not right now. But I guess you want a little progress update. We're 37% of the way to Heart of the Mountain 9. Don't know if I'll get that in this video. I guess we'll find out. I'm just going to keep doing commissions. And uh, if nothing really interesting happens, then I'll probably just end up showing you guys uh, uh, Heart of the Mountain 9 and maybe even beyond. I guess we'll see. But I'll keep doing comms and we'll see how this goes. Oh, wait, I'm going to record this one because check this out. This is a Jasper mine shaft that's really cool actually uh maybe if we're lucky we'll find a jasper crystal in here probably not but you know i can hope there also is a lapis uh corpse to find somewhere uh it doesn't look like i'm gonna be getting a jasper crystal still have yet to actually see a uh, crystal in one of these mine shafts but uh doesn't seem like this one's going to be our lucky one over here this seems to be a very small mine shaft as well I almost want to just like mine up all the lapis just or not the lapis the uh, jasper just to have but i want to make sure i'm not missing anything first i don't think i'm missing anything so yeah i guess we'll just mine up the jasper because it's always good to have jasper one more hello oh bejeweled handle that's what i like to see all right, we're just one commission away here from Heart of the Mountain 9. Looks like we got to take out some uh, Peridot gems here. I see some way off in the distance this way, so let's go over here. But also, I'm streaming, so if commentary is weird, that's that's why. All right, uh, Peridot gems are here. This is... Please, there's always some up here. All right, yeah, we're good. We're good. 
Let's mine this up. And any second now, we should see the wonderful. There we go. Let's grab it. And Heart of the Mountain, tier 9. Two more Skyblock levels. 399. Look at that. 61 XP away, man. 61 XP away. Well, for Heart of the Mountain 9, we get a lot of stuff here. Uh, we get this row of perks, which uh, absolutely taking Eager Adventurer and just flooding that right now. Give me that mining speed, please. Um, apart from that, I have one more right now. Um, I guess we'll just like do Quick Forge. I, I don't know. Sure. How am I out of... Oh, okay. I may reset my tree afterwards, but uh, let's warp forge. Uh, I spelled it frog again. And uh, let's take a look at the new stuff we just unlocked. Um, I do believe that, uh, okay, yeah, these three are done. We can take those. And let's take a look. Is there anything in the refined ores? There's, there's those. No, that's not new. Nothing's new. Actually, wait, wait, this is new. What's this? We need a bunch of these. That doesn't look terrible, actually. That looks pretty easy. But the big stuff is over here. Um, oh, so we need tungsten, umber, and glacite collection seven to unlock these. And I'm going to assume these are the new chisels. Um, that's not new. Anything else new? I don't think so. Or at least nothing that looks interesting. This is the page I want to see. Oh, no, wait, this is the reinforced chisel. So we need tungsten plates, umber plates, a big shield handle, and our regular chisel. But we can't get this because, um, oh wait, no. Did I already have all this stuff? I might. I think I got all this to Heart of the Mountain 8. Um, this is the only thing I get. Yeah, this is the only thing I get. Uh, so for this, you know, eight glacial amalgamations, uh, a mythical plate bejeweled handle, relatively easy. I don't know what the glacial amalgamations are. Okay, it's this. Okay, so that chisel doesn't seem too bad to get, actually. That's, like, pretty easy. It's just getting the darn collections, man. Like, that's gonna suck, but, eh, we'll try our best. Is that a pigman? I just heard a pigman. What? There it is again. What? There's a zombie pigman somewhere. Is that like a pigman pet or something? No, it's not like that noise. It's just like the, the default growl. Now I'm hearing it walk. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. All right, chat. I killed the pigman. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute, what? <laughs> we just hit level 400, I don't even know how. I just did something that gave me 60 skyblock XP. Um, I was completely unprepared for that clip. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's amazing! Dude, let's go! I've been doing this for way, way too long, but it looks like that was it! The uh, the bestiary from Glacite Mutt gave me the last XP, so that's pretty funny. But hey, Skyblock level 400, Book of Progression upgrade. That's amazing, man. Absolutely amazing. We have the gold prefix now, dude. Oh, that looks so nice with the gold red blue right there. Oh, I'm so happy. That was so random, too. I, I don't know how I got 60 XP from that thing, but I guess I did. All right, progress check. Where are we at on our journey to Heart of the Mountain 10? We are about 40% of the way there. It's only taken two days to get there. That's kind of annoying, but you know what? We'll get there eventually. I think I can pull off getting it done this video. Oh, wait, we got another Glacite Shard. Look at this. I actually have a couple. I have not been recording them all, but we are up to uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we only have four more to go, which is, you know, not too bad. At okay, I guess we have seven now. That's, that's convenient. <laughs> and you know what? While we're here, I guess we'll run through this mine shaft together because I don't really have anything else to do. Uh, people were saying to use the uh, gemstone gauntlet instead of your drill to attack these guys because, well, you can put looting on a gauntlet and you can't put looting on a drill. So, you know, small little tip for you guys. Uh, we have one more lapis corpse to find here actually, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, I don't know where it's gonna be. I really thought it would have been right there, but I guess not. There's the tungsten corpse. This is the one I already grabbed. Oh, I just used my speed boost. I should probably mine stuff. Okay, there's my scrap. 
Where is this other lapis one? Ah, there you are. Hello. Let's grab you. Green goblin egg. Nothing too interesting. That's okay. Well, we only need two more uh, glacite shards, which is absolutely fantastic. So we'll keep going. Uh, if we want a little heart of the mountain check here, I'm actually doing pretty okay. We are at 55%. I guess a little bit more now. Probably 56 now. Uh, yeah, 56% of the way there. So I don't know. I want to try to get it done today, but that is quite a lot of commissions to do. So we'll just have to see. Bruh, really? <laughs> Why? I, I don't need it. I don't know what to do with it. So I guess it'll just go in some random chest. I don't know. I'll just put it in here for now. Another pure mithril gem? I, I have like 20 goblin kills and that's the second one. Dude, That that's funny. And this will be your final progress update on the Heart of the Mountain. 90% to Heart of the Mountain 10, man. Oh my gosh, we're almost done. This has been a long few days, I'll tell you that, but we'll keep going. Uh, Aquamarine's next, so uh, we'll back, back to the base, and I guess we'll keep going. Oh, this is going to be quite the clip, isn't it? Let's go ahead and claim those two quests and open this mine shaft. And um, do we have another one to claim? No, we don't. Well, we need to find a suspicious scrap in here. I'm not gonna say why, but you can probably guess pretty easily what's gonna happen. Um, I guess we'll just go through this mine shaft, making sure I'm recording, because this is actually an important clip. Uh, take all these guys out, maybe we can drop our final... There's a chest! Huh. I didn't even know chests could spawn in here. Uh, we see if we could drop our final Glacite Shard, that's what I was going to say, because we are currently 8 out of 9. Um, we are looking for a, a Lapis Corpse to loot, so I've gotta keep an eye out for that one, but... Just seeing maybe just by chance we can get that last Glacite shard, then this would be the most legendary clip I've recorded like all month. Uh, it doesn't look like that's going to happen, so I guess let's start uh, looking around for this Lapis Corpse. I don't think I've gone this way. Oh no, this is the one with the chest. If I would stop falling down, then this would go a lot smoother. Let's check maybe back here. There's a- oh, there's an enemy. Um, not seeing the Lapis or the Tungsten Corpse either, actually. Haven't found- Oh, here's something. Uh, nope. Okay. I thought there was gonna be one there for sure. Oh, hey, there's the Lapis guy. Hello. Oh, commission complete as well. Well, um, I guess I may as well just get the, uh, scrap real quick. So let's do that. There we go. And let's make our way out of this mine shaft because we've got some stuff to claim and- Oh man, I've waited days for this. All right, let's head out. So let's do that and let's go ahead, open up this and claim these two things. And there we go. Heart of the Mountain level 10, two Skyblock levels for that, putting us at 403. Two tokens, some new forgeable items, and of course, new perks to look at here. Uh, let's go ahead and check them out. So we have two new abilities. I don't think either of them are very good, although this one has potential to be good, but... It could also be pretty bad, I'm not too sure yet. But uh, you know, extra chance to get items from looting a frozen corpse, that is absolutely insane. Uh, double glacite powder from killing mobs in the tunnels, that's okay. Um, 1% chance to spawn a extra frozen corpse, that's pretty good. Uh, more scraps, that's kind of- oh no no, scraps are more likely to contain a fossil, that is good. Um, and then of course, two mining forge from winning the glacite mineshaft, that's pretty decent as well. So I won't do anything with the Heart of the Mountain Tree quite yet. I will probably want to reset it and figure out what I actually want to use. But what we can do is a warp forge here. And I did save one forge slot in case I got Heart of the Mountain 10 today, which I did. So we now have all of them unlocked except the ones that require max Umburn Tungsten. These are going to be the Umburn Tungsten plates. I am nearly sure that's going to be it. Um, It looks like there is a new item called the Perfect Plate, which takes an Umber Tungsten and a Mithril Plate. Thank goodness it doesn't take a gold plate, a titanium plate, those kind of things. I don't, is a titanium plate even a thing? I don't know. I don't want to find out, though. Um, there's three items here. I believe these are all also the uh, different chisel upgrades, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe not. Um, okay, I don't actually know what these are. Uh, they could be- oh, they could be the keys. The skeleton key, the uh, umber and tungsten key. Uh, those could be it. But uh, let's see if there's any new items. I don't see anything new there, so I think it's just these three. Okay, yeah, so here's the skeleton key. Um, this takes a perfect plate and a bejeweled handle, which is, that's pretty rough to make, to be honest. That's, that's pretty difficult. The Relic of Power. This takes four perfect plates and the Artifact of Power, it is a direct upgrade to it, which 
is awesome, but it's expensive and there's going to be an issue with this that we'll see one day. Um, and of course, then we have the grand prize of this update, the Pendant of Devon, which takes 10 Devon Fragments, which I'm fairly sure we have. Um, a Perfect Plate, which we only need one, so it's cheap. The problem is we need an item called a Shattered Locket, which is roughly a 1 in 310 chance to get looting uh, Vanguard Corpses, which takes a Skeleton Key which means we need 310 skeleton keys on average, which is 310 perfect plates, which, you know, is 310 umber, tungsten, and mithril plates. And a reminder that a mithril plate takes five refined mithril, a golden plate, enchanted iron block, and refined titanium. So all of these that say one, you need 320. Refined mithril, you need like, what, 1500? And then we need 300 and something golden plates, which is refined diamonds, which means we need like 600 diamond blocks or something stupid. Uh, a ridiculous amount of glacite jewels and diamonds, yeah. So there is a critical flaw with getting this Pendant of Devon, and I don't know if I'll get it. I'll try. I guess we'll see. <laughs> but uh, I think that's the only other thing we unlocked. Um, I guess we have the, the new chisels, which I do want to make these. These look pretty cheap. The only problem is getting the... Uh, well, the tungsten and the umber plates, which require max collection. So our next project is going to be to max out the umber, tungsten, and glacite collections. And this is kind of going to suck, because Heart of the Mountain 10, and I'm only a third of the way there on umber, a quarter of the way on tungsten, and about a third of the way on glacite. So, yeah, that's, that's lame. But, <laughs> you know what? Heart of the Mountain 10, some more skyblock levels, it's pretty exciting, and we get to start... Our next chapter in our kind of progression, which is going to be just mining a ton of umber, tungsten, and glacite. Just, just an absolute metric ton. But we can also now join mining parties and join mine shafts more often, which means we can get more mine shaft loot, which is going to be pretty fun to watch. But I guess I'll start buckling down and working on these collections. Hey, there's the last one we need. That's number nine. So... We'll put that away, and after I'm done with this mine shaft, we'll unlock that uh, reforged stone. Okay, let's go grab our nine glacite jewels or glacite crystals. Yep, there they are, glacite shards, and get ourselves the new power stone. I really thought this one was going to be rather uh, difficult to get, but it turned out it was pretty easy to do. So there we go. That's going to be 15 skyblock XP and the frozen reforge. Doesn't really seem very good. I wish it gave like a little bit of cold resistance, even if it was just like five or something. I think that would have been neat, but uh, we don't get that, so I guess I'll just keep using what I usually use for now. Oh, finally! I'm allowed to play the game! Let's warp forge here and make ourselves at long last some umber keys. I've got four slots here ready to go. Ooh, my penguin gets done tomorrow. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some of our umber uh, right here. We have 10, and I'm just gonna make five umber keys. How do I even do this? Right here. Oh, only 21 minutes! Hey, I am happy to see that. That is going to be pretty awesome, so let's forge four of these up, and I guess uh, I'll see you guys when I'm ready to open some chests. Oh, wait a minute! This is a ruby crystal! I already have this one! Are you serious, dude? Come on! This is the literal only crystal I think I have collected right now. Does it- does it show? I have this one in Jasper. Wow! Okay, I'm- I'm mildly salty about that, I'll be honest. I'm- I'm mildly salty about that. Oh well, uh, something good we have at least as we can, uh, well I guess let's first open this, but let's find the, uh, umber chest here, because there is one here, and let's go ahead and give this an open! We get a book! Ice cold! Okay. Um, I guess this goes on armor? You know, some cold resistance? I guess that wasn't a waste of a key, so we'll take that. So apparently there's a chat triggers add-on to show you where known corpse locations will be. That's pretty cool. Um, I guess let's open this one. We get a glacite jewel. Uh, could have been worse, I guess. That one probably wasn't worth the key, but you know what? I guess we'll do it. Um, looks like there's one right here. We'll scoop this guy up. We're gonna get a goblin egg. And way down here, we're going to get two glacite jewels. Well, that made the key entirely pointless, I guess. Oh, we got the Peridot Crystal! Let's go! <laughs> Wait, that's actually huge! No way, the keys were worth it! The keys were actually worth it! No way! Even if I get totally scammed the next five keys, 
That made it absolutely worth it. Oh my gosh, man. No way. No way. I was even gonna not record this one. This is just my replay buffer. Oh, that's so fortunate. Wow. I got another book? You've gotta be kidding me, man. Wow. <laughs> oh, this guy got a pretty good chest too. Hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. These keys are turning out to be good, even though even though I know their drop rates are atrocious and they're pretty bad. We've been getting really lucky with them, so that's pretty good. Alright, recording this one because there were two different mine shafts and we didn't know which one to warp into and they chose the one I wanted so I could record more chest openings, so... Here we go, we'll open this one, it's a glacite jewel, alright, and there's gonna be one more way over here. This is my last key, I probably won't use too many umber keys to be honest. So, uh, this may be the last one for a little while, I guess we'll see, let's open it, and that is junk, man, that is absolute junk, nothing remotely good about those. Well, that's pretty much how umber keys are supposed to go, so I guess there's not too much we can do about that. Oh well. Oh, wait! Wait, this is a crystal one! <laughs> I didn't even notice! Oh my god, I, I probably wouldn't have noticed unless these guys said GG and crystal. I'm like, what are they saying GG to? Did someone get like a key or something? And then we just walk into this and I'm like, oh, okay. I guess we have two of them now, dude. This is, this is a lucky day. This is a really, really lucky day, man. Wow. I, I don't have any words. This is a very lucky day, apparently. Dude, I've just been lucky this update, which is weird. Because this is the first update I felt like I've had better than average luck. Just undeniably. Like, kind of everything I've done so far, I've had pretty solid luck with. So, I guess we'll keep going, but this is going great. Alright, I want this ender chest page back, so we're gonna do one more thing today that's very different from what we've been doing. Let's go ahead and warp to the Crimson Isle here, and fly all the way over to a very certain NPC, and I want to make sure I remember where it is. Alright, so we're looking for about negative 86 and then 771, so it looks like it's gonna be maybe in this house where the sponge is. Yeah, I think we're looking at right here. Is it you? No, it's not you. It definitely is this building. I think it's you. So we go up these stairs, and then this is you. You are the Algamage. And what you want is a bunch of different items. So I think the first thing you want is 64 gold. No, okay, I guess I've already given you the 64 gold. Uh, so next step is going to be to give you five golden plates. So we'll do that. And then the next one is we need a golden helmet, but it's actually going to be a diver's helmet. So we'll go ahead and give you that. And now we also need the leggings, so we're gonna have to give you the leggings. Um, okay, I guess you're not gonna take the leggings. Oh no, you did. Okay, it was just a ghost item for some reason. And the last thing you are, I guess second to last thing, is half a stack of enchanted golden blocks. And then the last item you're going to steal from me is going to be five golden powder. Now it says, wait, oh, next you're going to need a vegetable that's made of some solid gold. Oh, that's right. You need the enchanted golden carrots, which I should have. Yes, I do. Here you go. Oh, I just need one last thing. Wait. Oh, that's right. We need a golden ball, which I think I just have one more of. I don't quite remember where I put it. Uh, there it is. Yes, this is actually my last one. So there you go. You can have that. That's going to be a pain to get more of. But for doing this quest, we get the Alchemist's Staff, which is not that good of an item. It also costs 100,000 coins to fire, so yeah, this thing kind of sucks. But the only reason we, of course, did care about it is for another museum item. So let's go ahead and deposit that in the museum. There we go. And that's going to give us some tasty Skyblock XP, another Intermediate Museum reward. And how many is that going to bring us down to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 more to go. Only 12 more museum items, and that is very exciting. And hey, another Skyblock level, 404. But anyways, that's going to do for this episode of Hypixel Skyblock Iron Man. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below, hit the subscribe button. It really makes the channel uh, just perform a lot better on YouTube. And of course, if you ever buy any ranks, gems, fire sales, or anything off the Hypixel store, be sure to use my creator code at checkout for a 5% discount on anything you buy. My code is TOAD, T-O-A-D, just like my name. And your supports will keep these Iron Man series videos coming out. So, uh, you know, thank you to everyone that's used my creator code, and uh, have a great rest of your day. Take care.